I'm Daniel. I'm Lauren. And we're a band called Lowland Hum. We are here from Charlottesville, Virginia, and we're on our Lephonic tour. Lephonic is our fourth album, and we're playing songs from that and other songs of ours all over the U.S. And tonight we're here at the Rialto Theater in Akron, Ohio. So we started in 2012 as this band, and uh, we kind of spent most of the last seven years or so on tour and uh, making music and then playing the songs around. One of our songs on our new album is called Equator Line and it has some stories from our childhood but also our separate childhoods I should say um, but also some kind of like imaginary elements and things that didn't actually happen in our childhoods but the first verse talks about a kid named Nick who lived down the street from me who did karate and supposedly had a black belt and he was like older enough that we that who knows if it was true like we weren't even in the same elementary school he was probably in middle school but uh, there were just all these rumors flying around about Nick that he could like do a split kick and like he could do a split and he could he had a sword and all this stuff and a lot of it's listed in like a, yeah, a lot of the all songs of these things are listed are but he like, really it really was a real kid that lived down the street from me and I used, to, I used to see him like practicing in his front yard, walking home from school, and I, I always kind of felt like if some dog started chasing me, Nick would have my back. So we started this support quiet music thing because we noticed that there are lots of spaces where loud music, well, loud music can just be heard more easily because it's loud, mm -hmm. but also, <clears throat> you know, we want, we want there to be space for the kind of full human experience. If everything's kind of to 10 and super high intensity all the time, uh, there's not room for all these other parts of being a human being within that context. And, in the music world, festivals and things like that are geared toward loud, kind of like, like you know, just kind of loud music that's really turned to ten. Like I said, we kind of hope that it just makes space for people to think about how they can support the quiet music that they love. And I mean, we, in our own career, noticed that in kind of noisy bar settings or like coffee shops, even people often think are great for quieter music but it, there's lots of noise there too so we're just I think aware from our own experience of, the, of a real need for places where um, quiet music can be heard and, and spaces that are conducive to listening and we hope that it's something that helps not only us but like any other band or artist that's making quiet music and we like loud music too there, we're not saying that yeah, that's there true. shouldn't be loud music there's just already so many spaces where that music succeeds um, and we hope to preserve spaces for other kinds of things. Daniel was doing solo music in the beginning, and uh, first he asked me to design his album cover, and then he asked me to sing on a couple songs of doing harmony, and then that turned into more songs, and then we started writing songs together and noticed that our music together was different than his solo music, sonically, so we, um, we became a band called Bolin. 